Hey guys, uh, welcome to day number three. Um, hope you guys are doing really well and uh, have done the work right from last uh, couple of days. But let's let's have a look very quickly. What we talked about in last couple of days. Uh, number one thing we talked about uh, the intention. What intention we want to put out out there. Uh, what is the intention? What do we actually want to get in next two weeks? And that is the intention. And that's a very very important thing. So here is one thing you must know. Uh, that is something you want. And there is where you are. So there is a gap, right? So this is what I want. This is where I am. And there is a gap. So I want you to stay in that tension, like, you know, pull and push kind of thing. There is a tension in there. I want you to stay in that tension. So mean that feel that, that uh, there is a goal you want to achieve. But today, what are we going to look at day number three? Oh, sorry. Day number two, what we talked about was who are those ideal clients you want to work with and what are the top 10 problems, right? So you listed down or written down the top 10 problems. So I think one of the biggest things or the best thing you could do is put it on the white paper, put it on the wall, put it, what are the problems they have? Because we're going to look at them today. So let's have a look very quickly. Let me bring this to uh, this thing, right? So let's have a look today. So today we kind of yesterday we decided we have this, uh, you know, idle client market. These are the people we want to work with. These are the people uh, who are kind of unhappy at the moment. They, they're not happy. Right. These are the people we want to work with. But once they finish working with us, they want to be happy. Right. So they, they're not happy at the moment, but they want to be. There is there is a problems. Right. And the list of the problems and then when they are finished working with us uh, problem I think uh, no problems right basically so that that's what we're looking for right so meaning that once they finish working with us they don't have that problem which they started working with us so you listed down ten problems you know five six till ten you list down 10 problems. And what we're looking for now is, um, you don't need to do for all of them, but I think you need to think about is, what are these things they want? What are the things, what are the biggest problem they wanna get rid of? And today we're gonna talk about this thing called path. What is the path they must take to get rid of their problems? So. If they are unhappy today and they want to be happy, what is the path they should take? What does that path look like? So, and these are the path and what are the steps? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pick three, pick five, pick seven. What are the three things they must do to go from having a problem and not having a problem? What are the five things they must do from having a problem and not having a problem? And what are the seven things they must do? So you need to pick one of them, not all of them. So you don't need to do three, five, seven, but just pick one, meaning that they, you must pick three, five or seven set uh, kind of works the best. Um, and what are the three things they must have or the three things they get rid of or three things or whatever the steps are. So today what we're looking for is a path they must take from here being unhappy in the problem to get rid of the problem, right? So there is two things. You, If you are in part of the Tony Robbins world, if you are part of the personal development world, you probably know that people only want two things in the marketplace, right? Either they want to get rid of their problems or either they want to go towards the pleasure, right? So when you want to make a quick money, when you want to be really commercially successful, you start with, you start with, getting rid of people's problems you start with that because see desires is like a vitamin everybody wish they want to have it they wish they could have it but they don't want to do anything for that but problems they really want to get rid of so you fix problems right not uh, give them the give them uh, the biggest mention because they're not ready to work for that so when people are not ready to work for that, it's just going to be really hard for you to sell. So what are we going to be doing in next uh, two weeks? We're going to try to fix problems. And today we're going to look at it, what type of problems, right? So it's really important. So first thing we looked at it, path. We're going to look at what path they must take, what path they must take to get rid of that. So you need to design that path for them. 
but you need to design that path and that path whatever the path is you need to know that path right what are the three things they must do what are the five things they must do what are the seven things they must do if they want to get rid of their problems right so that's a step number one step number two we're going to talk about the problems right what are the problems so if i have to write down here problem there are two type of let's wipe that off let's talk about before we talk about problems let's talk about beliefs what there are two type of beliefs in in the business world right one is the content level belief one is the context level belief right. for people to buy from you for anybody in the marketplace to buy from you they need to first believe in the context level then they need to believe the context meaning that they must believe context first they must believe the context right before you think about content like for example for example i believe it is okay to eat junk food okay so if i believe that it's okay to eat junk food you can take me to any of the junk food places any day i should be okay with that right because i believe that at the context level it's okay to eat junk food right i believe i believe we all should be part of the personal development everybody should improve themselves as a personal development context level belief because of that it is okay for me to spend five thousand dollars on somebody's event and spend three days with that person right because i believe at the at the context level first every sale you make or anybody made in the past is only a belief change right nothing else sales is not a pushy thing sales is not uh, not trying to shove stuff on their face uh, or through the throat uh, sales is all a belief changing if i believe the way you believe if you believe exactly the way i believe you're gonna buy from it what most people make a mistake they're trying to sell their coaching it's a content coaching is a content level thing right content level belief they need to believe in personal development first right that's a context level belief if somebody believes in personal development they will buy coaching because it's a no-brainer for them what most people are doing they're trying to sell coaching to those people whose context level belief is not there yet they don't believe personal development is i mean they might believe it in in a very high level but they haven't done anything about it so it's not important to them right it's not important to them they don't read books they don't watch videos they haven't spent a dollar on that because their personal development is zero right they haven't bought a book they haven't read a book they haven't done anything about it because they haven't done about anything about coaching is a big belief so what we need to do is we need to change your belief in a certain way we cannot sell coaching to anybody until they believe this first okay it's just impossible because if i don't believe in that i need to be personally improved i would not spend any money on coaching same thing applies to that uh, you know people who are best at what they do because people are best at what they do they want to increase everything they they want to become the best sports people for coaching for them is a no-brainer because they believe in this they believe in improving themselves right they believe in that they they have a self-improvement uh, standards that they are need to get into that level right so they believe in a context level first so for them coaching is a no-brainer right every high performance people have coaches for me personally in the past never had one never had one never paid for coaching ever but now i pay for that why because i believe in this i believe in improving myself i believe that and i think you are in that space as well because you believe in that it's just a no-brainer for you to go and spend money on that right so this is very important so don't try to sell coaching to those people who don't believe at the context level right it's really important this is a belief thing every sale you're gonna make is always is always every sale is a belief change our belief change if they believe in this 
if they believe the personal development is important, then you can talk about your product. You can talk about something else. You can talk about any other products, meaning that they believe that, right? That's why you see that when you walk into some streets, they have all the junk food at one places. Why? Because they have Hungry Jacks, KFC, and, and all that junk at one place. Why? Because people who believe that they want to eat junk food, they have a context level belief first that yes, it's okay to eat junk food. That's why they can walk into any place that's the content level. Content level is very specific, very specific at a content level, right? So, so for personal development people, they'll spend $3,000 on trainings. They spend $50 a month on books. They spend uh, coaching. So these are the belief everybody, I mean, people who have that, right? So just important to see that. And now let's look at the other thing. What are you going to be doing for next two weeks? I want you to think about this. You can sell anything you like, but here's my suggestion. You sell something between 2997 and ten thousand dollars you sell something in between that right you don't sell something for fifty dollars you don't sell something for thousand dollars you don't sell something for nine hundred dollars no your starting thing is two nine nine seven to ten thousand dollars right it's very important it's it's really 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 important why is that because it takes same amount of effort Take same amount of effort to sell fifty dollars stuff and three thousand dollars stuff. It takes same effort. Effort has no the effort doesn't change, right? So it's really important you think about that. We're going to sell this now. The question is what you should be selling. What can you sell for this amount? For this amount? So I think you decide. That's what I'm going to say. You decide. But but I'll give you something on that. You sell one on one coaching. So what do you sell is one-to-one -one coaching is part of this, right? So now some of you might think, hey, what's the duration I can have? Look, I think it's up to you to decide if you feel comfortable with working with somebody for six months and charge them $3,000 one-off, that's fine, right? If you think of working with somebody to, um, you know, work for only three months and charge three thousand dollars that's fine if you work with somebody for a month and charge three thousand that's fine as well but you decide if you don't know the numbers i'll pick 90 days right work with somebody for 90 days and charge this amount of money just just that's just if if you can't think of anything you cannot go below than that remember this you cannot go beyond that you sell one-on-one -on -one coaching that's what we're going to do the prize is 2997 for three months that's what we're going to do and what we're going to do, what we talked about earlier, the path. You must have a path for them to get rid of their problems. Remember what we said? They're unhappy today. You already listed their 10 problems. What are the 10 problems? You already know that. What they must be doing, you have the framework, you are a coach, you know that. What are the things they must be doing to get rid of that problem, right? So we need to look at that. We need to look at that. So how are we going to do it, right? So now let's talk about many things, right? So we, yesterday, I think we talked about briefly, a lot of people talk about problems like this. Top, or you can say macro. No, no, sorry, macro and micro, right? So, and it's bottom. So the top level problems and their bottom level problems. What are we going to be doing is we're going to be fixing the micro problems. We need to fix the micro problems. We need to think about what are the very, very, very small number of problems they have. Very, very, very bottom level problems they have. We can fix that. Meaning that if they don't know how to sleep, if they're not getting enough sleep, you're just going to be providing them solutions so that they can have a better sleep. Right? So we need to look at it very small problems in their life and trying to fix them. Not the high level, meaning that, hey, I can help you get clients. Or this is a top level, or I can actually help you uh, write a better ad copy. Well, help you write a better ad copy. 
this is very low level, right? Very, very, very small at the bottom level, micro level problem. So this is what we need to look at. And what are the micro level problems? So one thing you can do is write it down when you writing down the problems for your clients. You written down 10 problems. So I think now the question is write down 10 top level, 10 micro problems for them. What are the 10 macro and what are the 10 micro problems they have? Very, very small micro problem. They can't sleep. They don't know how to have a conversation with their teenager daughter, right? They don't have a conversation with the wife or, um, you know, how to have a better date with your wife, how to have a conversation to rekindle your love after 15 years of marriage, that kind of stuff, right? That's a micro level problem. We're not fixing everything in the relationship. You need to start with something very, very, very small. So hope you got that right. So this is what we talked about yesterday. Today we talked about this. Now, if they want to get rid of that micro problem, micro, right? What is the path? What is the path they must take to being unhappy to happy there, right? What are the paths they must take? And we talked about this belief change, right? So the only thing you have to do is change the belief not the context level belief. They must believe at the context level because if you're trying to sell them something, they must believe that thing. So we only gonna speak to those people who believe in what we believe at a context level. Not at the content level, that's fine, but they must believe in. You're not trying to sell them something that uh, you know, you're just trying to sell them coaching, but they don't believe in personal development, if that makes sense, right? So today is day number three. Hope this makes sense. If this doesn't make sense, if you have any questions, please put in the comments below. Happy to answer that. But uh, make sure that uh, now we, you must be really clear. Do the work that uh, you know who you want to work with, your ideal clients. You know their top 10 problems. Today we said problems need to be divided in two categories, 10 problems. We divide in a macro problems and a micro problems, right? Macro and micro, divide that. And also what we need to do is we need to decide the path. What does this path look like for your clients to take? Three steps is path, three steps they must take, you know, or five steps they must take, or seven steps they must take to get rid of their problems. If you like coffee, if you like tea, if you like beer, if you like scotch, whatever that fancy drink is for you, make that drink, have a cup of, you know, coffee or tea or whatever, Sit down and think and do this because this has the um, pretty much everything to do with making money after that, right? This is what we're going to do. And also, we're going to sell this, right? You can do it for 5000 for three months. You can do 6000 for three months. Whatever you find it really kind of resonate with you. What do you feel right? You need to make it feel right for you. If you don't know, say, hey, I want to charge $3,000 but it feels, doesn't feel right, you know, for three months. Add some goodies into the table, oh, sorry, into the bag. You know, you, you've been to the fairs, right? Uh, Brisbane show or Melbourne show. What do they do? Brisbane show, Melbourne show. What they do is, oh, in Brisbane, they call it, I think, yeah. Uh, Melbourne show is the same. Um, so you walk in there, they have goodie bags, right? The, the one goodie bag has got a lot of stuff. If they want to increase the price, they just add more stuff in the goodie bag, right? So you need to just add a goodie stuff in the goodie in your bag, right? Whatever that might be for you in your industry, right? You could add, hey, not only that, but I also do this for you or also do this for you, right? So that's how you can actually increase that. And that actually helps. Why? Because they cannot compare with that. That's why goodie bags are always good. Why? Because you can't compare with the competition. You know, if you just say one thing or selling selling one thing, it's just easy to compare. If you say, hey, I'm going to come and clean your house um, or clean your carpet for $80 an hour. The other guy says, hey, I'm going to charge and do the same thing, charge $150. Now your brain is going to compare the price, right? So that's why it's really easy. So if you don't want to get into the comparison trap, you prepare a goodie bag. In our industry, we call it a package. You prepare a package, you add stuff into the package so that the brain doesn't allow them to compare with anything. All right, hope this makes sense, right? So let's do the work. Day number three is done. Um, and I'll speak to you guys tomorrow for day number four. All right, that's it.